Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at System Protection Tools. Now, System Protection Tools is the replacement rogue for Total Anti-Malware Protection, Best Antivirus Software, Advanced Anti-Spiral Solution, and about nine other threats. And basically what this is, is it's fake software. It is made to look like the actual Windows Security Essentials, and I think I got it here. And you can see how, how it looks very, very similar to the Microsoft Security Essential software. And they, they did that on purpose. They, they're trying to capitalize on, on the Microsoft brand name and try to trick users into actually making a purchase of the software. It is fake software. The actual warnings that this gives off are all bogus. So it's the one who actually put on these fake file traces that aren't even real files per se. They're just files that are that are up there and so if you actually browse to this location you'd be able to see these files but no they're not actually running on your computer all the warnings given off on this program are false and if we were to go ahead and make a purchase of this program which obviously I'm not going to do you'd be giving your credit card over to thieves and this is what their their payment gateway looks like so it looks like right now they're charging for a lifetime guard subscription 90 bucks but uh, of course it's a scam so you may get some other warnings on here about your data being sent to other third parties or your information is being stolen and captured. Any warning that this program gives off is false. So just don't believe any of the warnings that it gives. And the purpose of this guy is to help walk you through the actual removal process of it. Now a few tips for you here. All you really have to do is kill off the main executable that's running this program. So if I were to open up the task manager, I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, and Escape and that'll bring up the task manager. Now if the task manager is blocked for you is what you can do is reboot your computer and the second you log back in you should be able to bring up the task manager right away before the system protection tools program actually starts and if that happens you'll be able to to actually look at the file in here and mine happens to be named sp0 eight five underscore blah 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 yours will not be named the same but it will be something extremely similar so if I were to go to that and I can right click on this say open file location and this what it's going to do is it's actually going to open up the file location for me which I actually had opened already right here in the background and so the folder location is going to be c colon backslash program data uh, which is a hidden folder and 085, yeah, basically the file name. So if I were to go to program data, here's another thing that you can just simply go to is the program data and all the folders here will be already hidden. So what you can do is go to your Windows Start button. This is if you can't bring up the task manager. Go there, C drive, sorry. I'm going to type in hidden and it's going to say show hidden files and folders. I'm going to bring this up and then right here I'm going to make sure that this is checked show hidden files and folders. By default it's not shown. I'm going to say show hidden files and folders. Hit apply. Hit OK. And now when you're on your C drive again one of the warnings that it gives off. Yes I'll continue unprotected. And now that I'm over here, I'd be able to browse through the files. And you basically you're looking for a folder that does not make sense at all. And a nice way to do this is just to mod sort by the date modified. And right here, I can see well today is 5:22, and today was the day I got the infection. So chances are, hey, that's probably it. And you know what? That's probably something to do with it too, right there. So this is what I'm going to do is uh, open this file, and here's the files that are running. Now you cannot delete a currently running file but what you can do if you had a uh, test manager already open is you can select the file and go ahead and end the process yes I want to end that process so that client basically just went away now I can go ahead and I can right click and delete this now if the program is running and you had to manually browse down to the file path you cannot terminate it so basically what you can do is you can just right click on it and hit rename and rename the file to whatever you want and rename it to. It can be anything you want and delete whatever you can in there. Again, you cannot delete a file while it's in use. But now, if I were to reboot my computer, I'm, it, it's no longer going to be running because I changed the file name. So now that that file name is different, I'm good to go. And I, next time I boot up, I log in, I go to the same section, and I can actually now just go ahead and delete this folder in its entirety. Delete. Yes. 
few other tips for you too as well is you can go to uh, use the system restore and to do that you can boot uh, uh, either into safe mode or regular mode really doesn't matter uh, you probably have better chance of getting system restore to work properly in safe mode and just type in system restore and it'll come up and you can follow the system restore prompts and basically you're just taking your computer back in time just a few days before you had the virus infection that oftentimes will get rid of this threat too as well. And if you want to just go in and delete it without having to worry about uh, renaming the file, you can boot into safe mode. If you're in safe mode, this virus threat isn't going to be running anymore. And after that's done too as well, is what I would recommend is you actually browse down to this file path too as well, which is going to be uh, C users, your username, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, recent, and just delete everything in the recent folder. It's basically just uh, a junk temp folder and this is where it put all those fake virus traces in there for you so you can just select it all and delete it now it doesn't really matter if you delete them or not really because it's just junk files and they don't take up much space at all next to nothing but you know if you wanted to go through and do a total cleanup hey that's a good way to go now at this point in time I strongly recommend that uh, you download an antivirus client just go ahead and go over to removevirus.org and there we have uh, our recommended client which is Spire Doctor with Antivirus and you can download it from our website. If you download it from our website and end up making a purchase, we do make money and that's what keeps us guides going, uh, these virus removal videos going and the like. Uh, so we do make money off of it if you download it from our site and were to make a purchase of it. Otherwise, if we were to help you out, please go ahead and feel free and hit the uh, recommend button there. Uh, that just helps build our reputation up. As well, we do recommend PCNinja.com. Now, PCNinja.com is a remote computer repair company. They do charge for the virus removal, but what would you expect if you had an expert actually going in, remoting into your computer and removing it for you? It's a very good company based out of California. I highly recommend PCNinja.com. Uh, they're great guys, and they'll do a bang-up job uh, removing it the virus for you and again um, be sure once you remove the virus to run a full virus scan like I said I like Spire Doctor the antivirus that's the best way to ensure you're not infected with any other viruses and if you are having problems uh, removing this thread you can download Spire Doctor with antivirus too as well uh, you're be better off booting into safe mode with networking and downloading it, installing it, updating it, and then running it in there. And if you have any questions on anything I said, we have a great how to guide section that talks about how to boot into safe mode, how to terminate a running process, and it, it basically everything I covered that I didn't go into grave detail on, it's right there in the how to section. And that is it for this guide. I hope it helps, and uh, feel free and ask any questions you have over on the removevirus.org website. And that is it. Take care.